Global campaign strategy, strategy digital media expert. Strategy digital media expert. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so right now we're on our way to the train. We're going to the Empire State Building because we are meeting with a company called Workday. Yeah, say hey to the vlog. Hey. <laughs> say hey okay. to the vlog. Hi guys. <laughs> Yeah, you have access to your email, AP. Okay, they actually okay. send the QR code to you. Okay. So technically, you don't need anything from us. You okay. can use your phone. Okay. All right, one second. So they just need the visitor pass. Class will begin 30 minutes later than scheduled. Yeah. What? So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So instead of starting at 12 10, we'll start so at 12 30. Yeah. Okay. So, did y'all want to like so walk around? Yeah, walk around or, or go to Starbucks? It's giving those herbs. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do that first. subscribers that's yeah. good want to say hi <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> i just subscribed to the channel oh she has like 20k oh my Treading god that's wow you take, like, that's cool yeah. that's so maybe cool. there Is there a quicker way to do this? No, unfortunately, this is not the way. So. 
Jeez, yeah. work day? You guys are taking work? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, not young people. What do you guys think? How do we fix this problem? Hmm. QR code, yeah, so QR QR connecting code. to yeah. security QR downstairs, yeah, yeah. 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 important information. Mm. No, for real. I'm like, look at the view. It's too much on rainy day. This is a task. Peterson. Wait. Okay. Okay. It looks so nice in here. I'm actually going to apply. It's a work day. Work day, where are the applications? I can get coffee. I can be an intern. Just let me know. Mine kind of messed up. Yeah, mine messed up too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I'm going to get. I'm going to get. Oh, dark chocolate. Ugh, I'll just get. I'll just get these two. Okay. Guys, I'm like trying to vlog, so I'm moving slow, but. This is so nice. He's taking us to the other kitchen and he's saying we can get more snacks and the vibe. It's crazy. This is so cool. This is the kitchen. And then when you guys are done, you guys go straight to that door. It's right there. Wow. Okay. I didn't know my camera was still recording. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That coffee. Yeah. 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 So many different experiences and instances out there that companies get it right and sometimes they get it wrong. So you guys get to choose which particular one. And students always want to choose something that's polarizing or exciting. So for the project, she said two people. We can't do three. Oh no, we can do a group of three. Oh, we can oh, do a group of three. Okay. Yeah. HBR pack. The one that um. Yeah, how to win. How to win. Yeah. But then allow more people to Because mine always doesn't pop up. But it was the, the how to win. How to win on the channel world. No, effectiveness of digital marketing. Yeah, I'm like, I so you're speaker? Like oh, no, no. You're the speaker. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. I'm not the speaker. No. Look at all the most right there. Girl, you got it. And are the hawk like method or whatever? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and they were talking about the marketing tripod, which was awareness, nurturing, and dress. Oh, yeah, I see that. That was something that really stood out to me. Um, let me go to my notes. What, what was the three elements of the marketing tripod again? Awareness, nurturing, and trust. What is it? Awareness, nurturing, and trust. Awareness, nurturing, and trust. Um, well, no, this one we're talking about. What do you say about the trust? saying in front of trust, like, it's like, um, People trust their peers, so it'd be like reviews, or word of mouth, and then like the culture or brand that you point out is mm -hmm. what builds the trust. By scanning the QR code attached to the pieces of garment, mm -hmm. uh, their business models still focus digital first, but like their customers can experience their fashion and lifestyle products at the offline store in Tokyo. Uh, if they really like it, then the company would reorder more pieces. So this kind of like innovative. Um, retail experience design. Um, I like the idea of saying that fast fashion brands, even though I'm kind of against fast fashion, uh, but I'm going to put my personal opinion aside in this moment. <laughs> uh, but you're right that it's because it's more of like a demand type of 
plan where you're constantly putting products out, getting people to respond to it, and then you're putting products out for a short period of amount of time, your audience understands that world where it's like, it's out now, you only have two weeks before they change um, their closet or whatever, they change their inventory again. So how do you engage a customer that's comfortable with this, let's shop every day kind of lifestyle? Right. Selling very cute outfit. Mm -hmm. I've never bought anything from them, but I always see their ads on Instagram. It's so <laughs> tempting, and they're open. I they really love your example as well. Let's give them a round of applause. We were talking about how now, when you're getting news online, most people, as I said in the reading, tend to go to things that agree with them. So it's very much mm -hmm. um, a confirmation bias society. Mm -hmm. And when you're referencing your um, audience and as journalists were taught to write objectively so not putting any opinion but now we know that the consumers will go to someone who mm -hmm. agrees with them so it's kind of like balancing how do we still be authentic and just get the information out there versus losing the audience because they want to hear specific things if you're getting conflicting viewpoints from different outlets then how are you actually going to be objective in your thinking and everything so yeah, yeah. and my role at Vogue is that of the principal who is Like it's in the name, right? It's like I, I develop Google campaigns for Google. I help Google identify different buying personas. Click on it, you'll uh, be able to go see. You have to choose something that you're good at and you're going to have to commit to it and, and stick with it. That, that's the only way you're going to learn any business. I think I will be here. Oh, yeah. 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 I have hands for pictures if anyone else has something. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, oh, 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 okay. Is it the Arion? Is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that one. See a work day. Work day. Work day. Work day. Work day. Man, your camera's really great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. That is so much you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's not recording, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, thank so you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it was already on. <laughs> So this is uh, your phone. No way. It says gently place items into the tray. Oh my gosh. Okay, this better not break my phone. Okay. Will it do more than once? And then what? And then close the lid. Oh yeah, it does between devices. Close the lid. Yeah, I need this after. I'm gonna put this down. You think it's gonna Which do way? something with the camera? I'm gonna do it that way. Yeah. It said one inch between each. All right, let's do it. That's funny. How long is it going to take though? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, I think oh, I had messed yeah. it up. Oh, my gosh. Sanitation initiated. Oh, my God. It's loading. And that's to watch it. Oh, we didn't do that part. I got us, ladies. Quick okay. little fix. Quick little fix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was not a quick fix. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do, exactly. Is it wet? Or it doesn't feel wet. It's like hot. Well, not hot. It is a little warm. It's a little warm. It's just like you get on my phone. It's like clean. Who knows what it did? Yeah. yeah.
Hey everybody. Okay. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, um, I do like all different types of vlogs and stuff. But I recently just got moved into my place for graduate school at Columbia. Um, I had my digital communication strategy class and then we met with um, someone who worked at Workday. Um, so that, I met up with some of my classmates. What is this fruit fly in my room? I'm really taking fabric freshener to try to kill this fly. Like, where is it? She just accepted my LinkedIn request. But she said she recently got promoted. But she is the global campaigns strategist. We met with her. We were just talking to her and asking her a lot of questions and stuff. So that's why we ended up staying longer. Then we came back to campus um, and we just went to the library so we could like study. Not really study, but we all are in the same like cohort for this for strategic communication. So we have a business memo due tomorrow. So we kind of went to the library to um, talk about that. And I was pretty much done my memo. Um, I just have to add the finishing touches to it. I did read, as you guys can see. And when it comes to like doing work, and reading and stuff, you'll be surprised at how quick you go and how like fast you complete stuff when you're not in your room. I didn't finish all my reading honestly, but I did the I did this book first because it's not boring, but um, it just teaches you how to become a better writer. So like this one is like I, I start with the ones that I don't want to read as much, just so I can get, knock that out. But the ones that I like more, I read them last because. You know, I'll have um, I'll have more like energy to like read something that I like want to read. Even though this book, it really does teach um, me a lot about how to become a better writer, and I highlight a lot in my books because um, whatever just like sticks out to me. If I need to go back, like in the future when I'm like having a job, when I have a job or whatever, I want to be able to be like, okay, this is what I need to remember. And then this is my other book that I have to read. I have to read two chapters of this. But yeah, in grad school, it's a lot of reading. Like at Howard, um, I didn't read this much. Like I read, don't get me wrong, but I feel like in grad school, it's a lot. I think I ordered like nine books. Um, and I'm, I'm only taking four classes. But what I do like is there are a lot of like, instead of, the, instead of textbooks, we have like a lot of like regular books. So this one is called Why Some Ideas Survive and Others Die, Made to Stick. I like this book. Um, so far, what's the, another one of my favorite books so far? Another one is this one. It's called The Hawk Method, The Three Principles of Marketing That Made Over 3,000 Brands Store. So stuff like books like this um, are interesting to me because I feel like it's just like, I don't know. I've always been into business and like psychology, and I feel like marketing is both so i've always been interested in to see how businesses like grow and stuff like that and then i also have my own business i sell cosmetics or makeup so i always like try to take note of stuff to apply to my business so far i really like my program i'm, I'm comfortable in all my classes i'm comfortable with all the people and the professors like honestly like i'm like really blessed because i didn't know what to expect coming from an hbcu to an ivy league um I did go to a PWI before I went to Howard, so I knew it was gonna. Like, I knew the difference, but like I didn't know how it was gonna be in an Ivy League. But I'm comfortable in my program. My professors are cool, um, and I like how we go to real companies. Like today, we went to Workday. Like this is like the second class I've had with um, my professor, and we went to Workday. It was in the Empire State Building, which was crazy. Um, and if I sound a little bit sick, I feel like. I kind of have a cold. It's kind of, I'm kind of feeling better though. But yesterday, like I could not breathe. Like my throat was kind of like a little bit sore, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I drank some tea at the workday office because the lady who we met, she like, we, she walked us over to the kitchen and told me like, I'm where I can make my tea and stuff. But yeah. And then my professor, she said, we also will be going to the Amazon office. So that's cool. And I know Google, Google, Google is coming to one of my classes as well. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. So that's like a little update. Hope you guys like it happen. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I wanted it to be like a quick day in the life of a Columbia student, Columbia grad student. 
um, and I thought this I thought this would be a um, I thought this would be a cool day to show, like going to the Empire State Building. Like I literally was like so excited, like super super excited. I want to do more content, definitely at Columbia, but also in New York because I feel like it's so much to do in New York. This weekend I went to Soho and I went like I went shop window shopping. I didn't buy anything. I just wanted to like walk around or whatever because on a budget. But I also went on a little a little date. <laughs> a little date. Yeah. So I went on a little date to a I'm like, I went on a little date. No, but like okay, whatever. I went to a museum and it's called Inter Museum in Soho and that was cool. I didn't record um I didn't like vlog it but I did I'm I did I'm making like a TikTok out of it so and then I had like a little game night with some other people in my program the same that Saturday night so that was cool but um yeah like I we literally just got here and we're all like pretty much like getting to know each other and like cool with each other um I genuinely think it's because um me just obviously like going to the orientation and stuff but we had two parts to that so i don't know like that's kind of how i got cool with everyone some exciting news is that i'm starting um not starting like i've been working for this company but um if you guys didn't know i'm a communications intern as well as being in school so i started that in dc but um i was allowed to still work the internship and switch to the new york office so it is um remote i just go in one day so i used to go in one day a week in dc but now i have to go one day a week in new york so it's on wall street and i don't know how to get there well i i, I know like i think i know how to get there hopefully yeah um yeah i'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna take a shower and then finish up my reading and then like put like the final final touches on my homework that's due tomorrow thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm tired so sorry if the energy is low